You have to understand that it was a very different political era for America's Hispanic community. If we weren't going to be represented by Latino, we are going to be represented by a white man. Simple as that. At the time, Hispanics were the hidden minority. They had not emerged as a political force. There wasn't great representation in Congress. But in one of those communities, in a poor part of the Bronx, there was a guy named Bob. Bob. And Bobby. Bob. Bobby. Congressman. Congressman Garcia. And he was not at all a typical politician. Bob was not a lawyer or a doctor. You know, he was basically an engineer out of City College. Mismatched shirt and tie. He was just right from the streets. Bob Garcia is a legend. Congressman Garcia was a builder of bridges. Bob wasn't about left or right, he was about getting things done that were positive for the American people. Creating the legislation that ultimately became the Federal Enterprise Zone Program, creating the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. Making sure that the census didn't overlook anybody. He was a driving force on immigration reform. He always said that if we wanted things to change, we needed to get involved. He would have pulled his pants down in Times Square if it would have helped a contractor in his district get more jobs and more business. Bob's life was the American dream. It's kind of a tough thing, though, too, because you're, you know, here you are on the board of directors of the United States of America, and the next thing, you know, you're nothing. Bob was indicted in the late 1980s. It was a throwaway indictment from Giuliani. They were looking for pelts to put on the wall. And I'll tell you, the whole idea of the federal government coming down on your head is frightening. When the word came down that there was this indictment, Bob said, I have to resign. The case against him was trumped up, and ultimately he prevailed, but at what a political cost to him. We got here because of individuals like Bob. Who, who sort of changed that dynamic from, from Congress and politics being the bastion of old white guys like me to a much more multicultural uh, approach. There's no question that we would not have Justice Sotomayor or Nidia Velasquez nor AOC if Bobby hadn't first been a congressperson.